I want to talk about mostly a fish medicine, but <sighs> something that really drives me nuts when it comes to this hobby. Oh yeah, we're going to rant. We're going to rave. This is your warning. A fish nerd is about to rant and rave about a Seachem product. Oh yeah, we're doing this again. Hello everyone, this is Bentley. Don't worry, we're not complaining about Flourish again. No, 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 no. I want to introduce you to a Seachem product I love and hate. This, in particular, bottle is Neoplex, a.k.a. Neomycin. They also have Canaplex, which is Canamycin, and a number of medications that come in this container. I don't hate the medicine. I actually think it's wonderful that something with Seachem's distribution for the places that can get some of these medicines. I understand people in the UK and Canada have some limitations, but for us in the States... This is more commonly available in a lot of places than some of the other products out there. It allows us to get certain medications that otherwise would be a little difficult to find. But there's a fundamental flaw with this. Okay? If you are to look at the bottom of this, see its little cone shape? It comes all the way to the bottom. In the lid, when we open it up, we have a scoop. And it's relatively well mounted into this thing, but yes, you can pull it out. Now, I want to note something. If you have reasonably big fingers like mine, holding this scoop and trying to get it in there, tough. You basically can't get any further than the lid would allow you. Now, this is where the first problem comes. The medicine goes all the way down to the bottom, top of my thumb here. The scoop. Do you see this? This doesn't even go all the way down. Not to mention that that's not the biggest problem. This teeny, tiny little flat scoop is two gallons of treatment. Two. What intelligent being thought that two gallons was the dose? Two. If you're in the United States, Canada, you have a lot of common tank sizes. 10 gallon, 20 gallon, 29, aka 30, 40, 55. we noticing patterns here. There are increments of five. Mostly in increments of 10, not 2. So let us say that you need to treat a 20-gallon tank with this. To get our neomycin or canamycin, you need 10 scoops. And eventually, as you get lower on the medication, say that bottom about inch, you can't even reach the stuff. So now... You need to pour it out somewhere in order to get a level scoop. What are they thinking? You know, it's, it's great that this little handy container here, it's got a nice screw top lid. It's going to be kind of effective for holding your medicine, not accidentally opening it. Although it's really easy to spill when you're trying to scoop stuff out of this thing. I mean, yeah, you can take some safety precautions, don't get me wrong, but if you're trying to get those last little vestiges in there, it sucks. Why is it Seachem, who makes one of my favorite filters, the Tidal, all the bigger ones, that 35, not so much, that thing sucks, but they make this amazing hang-on-back filter that has some innovations and shows that there is room to improve in this space from just the aqua clear that has basically been like the king for a long time. Why is it that they are so adept at designing things that are horrible for their user? Let me give you another case, not just medicine, but we'll get back to it, I promise. Safe. When you buy it in the giant jug like this, it's like 
60 bucks. Lasts you forever. I am... I'm going to open this and it's going to smell like rotting eggs, but, you know, that's, that's the thing. I'm halfway through my container. I've had this container for two and a half, three years. It lasts forever. Uh, to be specific, 1.25 grams or a quarter teaspoon treats 300 U.S. gallons. Quarter teaspoon, 300 U.S. gallons. Now, if you have a fish room and you're doing 10 and 20 gallon tanks, dosing this correctly is a pain in the butt. I had to go and buy a specific set of tiny spoons where the smallest measurement is a 64th of a teaspoon, also called a drop. And that, after doing the math, treats 36 and a half gallons. Or sorry, 37 and a half, 37 and a half. So even that teeny tiny spoon to treat a 20 gallon, I need to figure out eh, about half. Now, realistically with safe, you can overdose this a little bit and it's okay. And it's a great cheap dechlorinator. You know a product that everybody loves that Seachem makes? Prime. It's a liquid version of this. Handy, useful, simple, easy. This is great if you're changing a ton of water, except that the measurements suck. Have we noticed a pattern with Seachem? Flourish, their medicines, safe. Everything is designed in a way that is like the least user-friendly possible. Why? Why? Just why, Seachem? <laughs> like, your competition, your competition. API, this is a thing of fear in two, nitrofurazone, right? Uh, there's 85 milligrams per packet. One packet treats 10 gallons. If you, if you open this, this is unopened. If not, use it yet. Look at that. Packets. Easy peasy. You open it. You spill the medicine into the tank. You throw the empty packet away. Packets. Simple. One per ten gallons. Not a level scoop per two and eventually you can't get the freaking medicine out of the jar. Now I like... The availability of canamycin and neomycin. They treat gram-negative bacterias. That's quite a lot of diseases that fish can get that are really, really problematic. Columnaris, fin rot, a ton of things are treated by these two medications. They're wonderful medications. Why make dosing such a pain in the butt? I know what you're thinking. Bentley. 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 API's got those big jugs of medicine. Surely. Surely. That can't be as simple. That has to be complicated like the safe, right? API's erythromycin. Getting a little hard to find in the United States. Comes with this. It's a scoop. Nice. Big. Look. Look at. Look at. It's like the size of my eyeball. Big. Good. Scoop. One per 20 gallons. It is very easy to measure roughly half of this scoop to get it down to 10 gallons. That teeny tiny little shovel looking thing? No! It's very shallow. You would have to have a level scoop in order to treat two US gallons. What the absolute... Hmm. Hmm. Why? Why is it so hard? It, I have this giant jug of medicine. I can easily take my little scoop. Look. That's almost perfect. Barely did it. That thing? I got a pile of white powder on it. It looked like Tony Montana trying to do a line. Try to smuggle this stupid thing through an airport, you probably get frisked. Or worse, maybe strapping the glove on. 
Why? Why make it so complicated? This! This! Easy! Stupid! Stupid! <sighs> Just throw it away. Now look. See, Kim? I'm going to be real with you. I certainly don't expect a sponsorship. I've bashed several of your products at this point. But not because they're inherently bad. They're designed poorly when it comes to being easy to use for your customer. Do you notice a pattern in what I'm trying to say? Make things easy to use for your customer. I shouldn't need a scale to weigh it out. I shouldn't need to somehow find a way to magically scoop out the last inch worth of my medicine out of your container with this teeny tiny shovel to treat six gallons or whatever the heck that's supposed to end up treating. Make it easy. You can't sell your medicines in places that don't have the standard like Aquion sized tanks. Then why are you setting it up for two gallons? If your primary customer is the United States, maybe you should at least go to five gallons of scoop. Because you know what? I don't know too many people rocking a 2.5 gallon tank as their hospital tank. Most people are using a 10. Why? Because you can get it at Petco dollar for gallon sale for 10 bucks. Easy, peasy, simple. Or you got crazies like me who are like, yeah, I'll use a 40 gallon because my fish like more room. If you had to treat a 100-gallon tank, I want you to think about that. That's 50 scoops with that stupid little shovel. Five. Ten packets. Not necessarily efficient when it comes to your cost, but you know what? It's easy. Make things simple and easy for your end user. It's not that hard. We should not need complicated things to use your products. And it's an easy fix. You don't have to change the medicine. You just have to change the container a little bit or change the scoop. Give me a double-sided scoop. Give me a scoop that's one per five gallon, one per two gallon, so I can microdose if I really need to, or make it a little faster. Or maybe five, five gallons is too little, 10, 20, something. Give me something that makes it so that if I'm trying to dose a slightly larger tank, I don't need an hour of scooping medicine to do it. That's it. That's my beef with Seachem, which it sucks. They Several of their products are great. The titles, Prime, Safe, I even like Safe, like once you like do some crazy nonsense to figure out your measurement, it lasts you forever. You'll be doing water changes until your eyes bleed or pop out of your skull and you'll still have some Safe left over. For value for money, it's amazing, but can we make it easier to dose Seachem? It's not that hard. Your competition... Pump nozzles, easy packets, easy scoops, noticing a pattern, easy, it's a prime word, easy, and I'm not even talking about fertilizer at this point. If you enjoy when I decide to complain, let me know in the comments, give it a little thumbs up, share with your friends, if you got a laugh, I'm happy I can entertain you for a few minutes. If you didn't like this video, Thumbs down twice, set the plate speed to 75%. I don't know. Find a way. It'll make it more entertaining. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And stay awesome. Right, one scoop or two gallons. What the fuck?